Hello everyone and welcome back to All The Mods 8, episode 41, where today we are going to get our Nexium emitter and I think we're going to start looking into elemental craft because we're going to need that to set up for quite a few of the other components required for the ATM star. So in between episodes I decided that I needed more power because the SPS was taking up a lot of power. And also, I'd like to apologize for the last episode. Uh, these were incredibly loud at the beginning of the episode. So I've muted these now and everything's a bit more quieter. I've stopped exporting and importing most of the stuff that's going on over here because I don't need to make any more at the moment. Um, I've also been having uranium problems. Because I was, you will see why I was, I was having uranium problems. Because, yeah, like, I burned through all of my uranium in a couple of hours, I think it was. So, what I'll do, I'll give a quick show around what I've done between episodes. So, I've set up these, these nitro reactors that were inputting into that, and now purposely powering my refined storage. Because, for some reason, there was things running that... When things were running, it was taking so much power that my refined storage was flashing off, was turning on and off, on and off, and I couldn't do anything. Also, singularities, got 72, got the last setup, because uh, this can be done with, uh, obviously got the 64k, so this doesn't get used up every time you make one, but this can be done with water. So I just put a sink and a, a mechanical pipe pumping in water into this. So this is just making singularities just out of water which is great and i've run the quarry a couple of times but i need to set that up again because that is being a bit janky at the moment but i would actually at some point like to look into the quarry plus mod because this has got a bunch of different types of quarries if they like the old billcraft quarries but like some of them, like, you, you need quite a bit of stuff for them. But, like, we can make most of this stuff anyway. Like, we can move enchantments to the quarries. Um, so I think that this one just... This one uses fuel. I think that one uses power. And then I think there's, like, a higher one. Uh, disabled, experience pump, fans pump, chunk destroyer, mini quarry, filler... But whatever this chunk destroyer is requires these quarries. So we could look into the chunk destroyer. Like that's yeah. We will look into this at some point. Spawner controller disabled. Disable place a plus. Creative generator. Works for quarry. Only for quarry, but that's unavailable. Uh pump module. Yeah, we can we we'll look at this. Remove bedrock module. Okay. Um, yeah, so we look into this at some point because if this is uh, an insane quarry, like we need to get another dragon head, but I don't think we have any dragon head. We do not. Are they craftable but anyway? Blank skull and dragon egg essence. Dragon egg essence done. Dragon egg seeds. To be honest, we could probably do that. We could probably make them to make dragon egg dragon heads. Uh, the blank skull. I, I'm getting totally sidetracked here because like things like this are easy enough. Hold it. Yeah, we can do that. We can log into Quarry Plus at some point. So anyway, so first things first, we will go and do Nexium Emitter. It says it requires the player thing, but I had this in my inventory, so it's filled up with power, so it doesn't recognize it. But is our Nexium emitter. That goes under the Dragon Soul in our chest. Is our fifth slash sixth part of the ATM star. Remove that. So the reason I want to get into, into Elemental Craft as well is I need to get the Pyrite ingots, which is Element Binding, with swift alloys, sprinkling shards, pure crystals, and netherite. 
like pure crystals requires infusion and yeah there's there's quite a bit of stuff that we need to get into the swift alloy is element binding again a crystal so it's gonna take a little bit of time it's gonna be a, i think it's gonna be a couple of episode adventure into that so i'm just gonna slash back because i just came from the from the reactors but this is my initial setup which is mm, sort of running still producing half a million rf a tick um but this is what i set up in between episodes i understand like some people might have wanted to see this but it took me about three and a half hours to get all this to work and run properly currently disabled because of the uranium this is why i use up so much uranium so the polonium set the, the polonium the fissile fuel setup that i have there i've it's exactly the same it's just the chemical oxidizers are stacked higher to produce more of the sulfur dioxide and the uh uranium uh the, the uranium what's it called it stuff is it two this one the uranium oxide uh but like i was using up so much uranium like this thing is oh well that's nine stacks nine stacks of uranium at a time times that by four that's like 36 stacks of uranium constantly going on in you and this was also using a lot of uranium like if i run this this produces i think it's about 500 to 600 000 rf a tick yeah four, it's 400 and oh it's still climbing yeah so this produces almost half a million rf a tick as well but i'm not running that because i don't want to use up any more uranium that's going on in here when this is actually running so if i put you on i'm gonna tank a lot of water at first but that does kick back on but this is now i don't know what's going on with that but this produces 17 well 18 million rf a tick this turbine so yeah it produces a lot of power but it also uses like i've got this got 800,000 in there that's got a million millibuckets in it as well that's got a thousand buckets in there as well this is all cool. hold on one second Ap apologies about that um apparently we're doing uh, emergency alerts on mobile phones now uh you are empty you're full of nuclear waste but I'd, I'd add additional barrels to this because the nuclear waste was uh this this middle barrel was full also then because of that i've got a barrel over here that's storing polonium which is full and the pipes have got 2000 millibuckets in it as well and this pipe's got 3000 millibuckets in it as well but when this is running this is actually producing the anti-mat that's required i'm currently at five we need four more to finish off that other piece for the withers compass get these so we might within the next couple of episodes we'll have the withers compass as well so that's what i've done in between episodes and as i said i spent i spent hours setting that up and getting it to run correctly and not blow up i say blow up meltdown it did i did have two meltdowns but luckily because the nuclear waste was already taken out of the out of the the reactor it didn't really irradiate the area that much and i had to increase the uh in input ports on this to accommodate for the amount of power that was coming in because like these pipes can only do I think it's like three point something million yeah 3.27 million per pipe in, in a block so each of these actually allows us to input a lot more when it's when it's running it's actually inputting the full 18 million a tick so we're inputting that and we're only outputting less than 100,000 well, it's jumping back and forth on things 
so uh also put in another set of uh, uh another set of uranium seeds here try and catch up but next we're going to be doing as i said we're going to do some elemental craft i played with it a little bit in a different pack i cannot remember any of it so we're going to open up our book we're going to find the elemental craft book pretty sure there's one there it is elemental p elemental pedia we're also probably going to follow the quest line as well to be honest because the quest line will probably help us out a lot when it comes to this so get the book the a contained crystal we need to make so let's just knock that out real Guys, we probably got a few of those in. Oh, we haven't got a lot, but we've got a few. So, that. Uh, paired element pipes. I'm gonna do a bunch of this real quick. Uh, see what we can, uh. See what we can get going. Because these are just the miscellaneous easy bits to do that and fuser element extractor ele element evaporator now we're going to need at least four of these four different elements uh let's get four of the get four of these these took a second for it to register I swear I just made that thing so the crystals these crystals we need an element infusion we need to go pretty sure we've got we've got some around here we've got a fire one here we've got Best place to find these. I need them in. So what we'll do is we'll go to the mining dimension. And I think a lot a lot of them are more like I have marked some off water, air, fire, and I believe that other one is is the earth one. We got air here. We got water there. There. It's another A one. We'll start with this one. So, how do we do this? Basics, white rock, earth infused stone, um, horses, A sources of seem to be found naturally. Instruments. So, element extractor uses use an extractor to extract elements from sources. To do so, place the extractor above a container and below the source you want to. Extract. So, if we do, I'll do. <laughs> I'll do. I didn't want to destroy an eleven by eleven area, but that'll do. So, these are two. So, we need a container. We're gonna need an extractor. In right, so that is having us extracting that. So then we want to get crystals. Get we look at quest like okay. we want to get an air crystal element of fusion. Needs a container, the infuser on top, nerd crystal gets us. I believe we put a pipe down, another container. I think all I gotta do. Like that? Yeah, nice. 
Then we put a you on there. If we get crystals. I think if we just pop that on there. I think that's right, isn't it? At left. An A crystal. Oh, it's an inert crystal. Okay. Not one of these. Yes, I'm. Hey, do one does that. Uh. Crystal. If we just do get that, I wonder if I can hop around. On laser, Israel, I got that in. Food. Grab a chest. And let's just do this. Smart off the rip. So well, we put chest there. Laser node there. Down. Extract white. And filters. Craft up another. So on the down, you extract inner you know, crystals. Insert on this side. You will insert on white, extract on orange, get a crystal. So if I put that in there, you should be doing your thing and infusing. Should be, you should be set to only extract a crystal. I only extract. Oh, right, 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 right. I see why. Down is orange. Or extract. There we go. I just need to change the channel. I forget about that sometimes. That the channel needs to be changed. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around to the air, earth, and the fire. I think I'll just set up whatever the other earth. I'm going to do exactly the same on every on every node and see where we go from there our pipes so I need at least two for everything so I'll be right back I'm going to do the exact same setup on every every single one and I'll be Okay. The problem with the shade I barely see. Right, so what I'm gonna do is actually a that up. Have the water one here. We can probably just do two. Filters. Going on. Where's all my where's all my stuff? Going on. What's going on here? It's going cool, white. I'll be right back. I'm going to relaunch. Right, we're back. I think it was just a, a, a decent issue or so. So, I'm going to back. Take us back to the... Where? Okay. So, filters. What is after? 
So on this side, we're gonna insert on white, extract on orange with a filter, and we're gonna add to elemental. And then this is, I believe, yep, this is a water. So you, then on the down. So I'm extracting on orange insert. So I want to extract on white. Insert on orange. You need a filter. So you. Make sure I'm taking the element. Let's just see if you work, and if this works, I'm going to go into the other two off camera. You extract on Ori. You need to insert. Oh, water crystals. These water crystals are used for other things. Mystical grow shrine, plant, plant my, uh, mystical flowers instead of tradition. Just growth speed of crystals. Upgrade. There is a speed upgrade for crop growth as well. Um. Pylon growth shrine. This thing. I'm gonna put it on our to-do list because it's something that I would like to try and put it on some um, couple of our farms. And then we can you get even more um mystical agriculture stuff. So I will be right back. I've got the water one. I've got the air one. This water one. Oh, that is up. I know. Blue portal can stay there. That's fine. Um, I'm gonna go and do the fire one. And I wanna try and find an earth one that's that's not like a million miles away. And I'll be right back. Right, so all of these are set up now. Which is great. And fire. Got all of these set up now. We've got the set up over there, water and air set up over there, and we have fire here. Um, I am looking for. I've got another earth node marked there because we can move these eventually, and I think we'll probably just move the ones that we have here to. We can then make, move them to the base and have it all in there then, so we can have. We don't have to be flying around these areas to try and find what we need constantly. So next, all this for uh, but uh, going on. Do we need one of each crystal? Fire. Grab an earth. Water one. Like they're, they're a fair distance from each other, but with like the speed that I move, not. Have a deal. Once we get, once we can get them moved, it'll be so much easier. The A one there. Do with move. So every single set of it has exactly the same thing. But output. That's done. What's this? Element holders. I'm not worried about element holders right now. So I look fire it ingots gotta get two with element by I wanna look in getting to the point where we can move the crystals a lot fa a lot quicker than I'd expect to. 
I believe it's looking for some like containment thing. These receptacle. So I need these displacement plates. Requires pure crystals, swift alley ingots. But this is bro is is so you can use these broken source displacement plates over and over again. So I need then so we need some sort of pristine gem. But on a, so we have an idea on how to get there. We need pure crystals. And yeah. Fire crystals, diamonds, pure infusing. And then we need one of each pedestal. We need fire, water, earth, air, and that. Hey. Swift alloy is done with element binding. This, I believe we it has to be over the el oh, these element collectors. So yeah. Element pipes which are done with drenched iron. We need to make drenched iron. Which is I believe we're on water one. Okay, is the water. So what we can do here is get iron ingots. On the down for extract iron for extract French type. We put that in there. We're making trench iron ingots. Nice. So element pipes. And now make element pipes. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're powering through it. We're powering through it. These are the shrines that we need. Element binder. So I know we're just like powering through this and whatever, but like, need some more dragon. binder. We got some of this white rock from elsewhere. But what we can do is if we do. Any? I don't understand why some of these items are fluctuating. How can I not see standard stuff? Do we not have any? And I need to. the earth? Set this up. I love automation. I really do. It's been such a long time since I've actually like tried playing like vanilla Minecraft. You stone, act the white stone. A stone. Is it white rock? Yes, white rock. Bang you in there. Once you're done making. It, it, it is working. Is it, it, I think it takes from the first slot. Make it some more. Okay. So next, Gallman Binder. Like the swift alloy ingot is over air. So is another Where did I see that now? Is this did I mark it as A2? Find another A. I could you know what I'll I'll see how I'll see if I can do it off the same one here. I should be able to. I don't see why I wouldn't be able to. 
If I put a proper element and element can fires burnt glass glass with fire. Okay, that makes sense. Glass. What are you with it? Your your water. Just gonna get go make some burnt glass. What I should do is load the areas that it well I think that's why this one didn't have it made because I was so far away it was good. Oh loaded. This one as well. So then in two oh, no track is burnt glass with Correct. Just grab I think I just need like one piece of glass right now. Yeah, I might as well wait for four. Yeah, that's better. Burn glass. Go back to our A. So far away. I wish there was just a way I could just go bing 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 and just hop from one place. No problem. Why don't I shoot? Have both of the areas look. So, here then, make the element contain. This just holds just a larger amount. Same thing, they just hold bigger amounts. See, look. So, what I'm going to do is white rock. He's used. Banks room. Cognac room. Claptraps room. I'll have to look into these. I feel like they're like enchantments in a sense. As of a like plus 300 percent. Jeez. D plus 30 element present. They might work. It might be something you like place on the the, the things, elements, and bells. So, uh, element binder. Do we need it? It was swift alloy, was Swift alloys. Swift alloy is made drenched copper, gold, air crystals, redstone. Okay, so we've got the air crystals. Let's put. Well, I believe 
So then gold drenched copper redstone. Gold copper. I'm gonna do it in the order. I think these gotta go in or gotta go on in a specific order. Gold, benched, copper, redstone. Here we go. There will be, I think there's going to have to be a way to, to do this. Um in such a way that it places the in the correct uh i can't even think of the word the correct order that's the word correct order such a simple word i can't remember it okay so that's that so we need what we need to do now to But what we need to look this requires pure crystal. Look at the pure one of each pedestal. So I'm gonna assume we're gonna need the crystals. Grab everything that we've crafted up. It's, uh setups. I do like that like you have you you have to do from basic and hopefully by the end of this episode too much longer uh we will be on our way to be to move these to our base and if we can and once we get to our base it'll be a lot easier to do most of this crafting because we can import and export system but the pedestal required that's that air right, so i need to set this up in fine okay so these are easy enough. So I gotta do this gem. Strongly contain crystal. Swift nuggets contain crystal and shards. Done with water. amethyst. Where's water? What is there? Let's do this now. Let's get these. Let's go for these sprinkling shards. And then we can. What was that? What was that? What was that? That word. Here. Just book a uh, go to the water one to do the same set as we just did with the air one, and uh, hopefully, get some sprinkling crystal. This bar output one of those. Element tain and contain element contain binder, yeah, element binder. Pop you okay. So, sprinkling shards, but yeah, spring sprinkling shards. Need amethyst, quartz, and water quick. Just to eat amethyst. Eat amethyst. The order. That's the order.
If I put that up. How, what can I do with these? Can I make swingling? Fuck a fuck a cord. That's something we'll look into. Because I feel like we are gonna need more as we go on. So we can look into creating those sorts of things when we need a lot more. That's practically instantaneous. So I watch your phone time. Oh project E is overpowered. Well, it is, and it's meant to be meant to be okay i i'd understand if this actually used like uremc see i would say it'd be more balanced if uremc as this uh my client stuff plenty and so we got the sprinkling shards i am going to end the episode here and come back next episode and we can work on getting the up these up and running we can make this make the strongly contained crystal which requires this this requires element infuser pure infuser okay. pure infuser I believe yeah needs a a thing of everything it gets us pure infuser i think what we'll do set up another container uh oh, i think maybe these ones maybe these ones on each of them and then we can bring them to ascend like other if we pure. and like that gives you ghost image I will, between episodes real quick, get more element containers and set get them relatively filled up and we will be back then to continue our elemental craft and get these nodes from here to our base, hopefully next episode. So, good day, good afternoon, good evening, whatever you may be watching this and I will speak to you in the next episode. Bye!